Well, good afternoon, folks, and welcome to another short review video. I um, hope this is going to be short, but um, anyway, um, we are at Victoria Falls Airport in Zimbabwe in Central Africa. Why are we here? Well, some of you who have been with me a while may recall I did a video some time back ago when we looked at the default Victoria Falls in the new Flight Sim 2020 scenery. And it was pretty awful. In fact, it was, <laughs> it was absolutely dreadful. Um, and that was the end of that, really. And then along came a gentleman known as Pinepix on Plightsim.to website, does a little mod that for the Victoria Falls Bridge and actually he sort of re-landscaped and changed the falls um, and made it look so much better. So today we're going to take the helicopter, head north up to the Victoria Falls and have a look at this mod. Bear in mind it's free. Um, okay, it's not totally brilliant. It's not um, filled with spray and all the things you'd expect. But it's a little mod that he did in order to improve the area and I have to say he really has improved it. So we're going to have a look at it. Um, you're currently at Victoria Falls International Airport here in Zimbabwe. This is a scenery created by MSFS Scenery Builders and uh, I thought we'd take off from here. So let's get started and while we're in the air heading along they'll give you some history about the falls. Okay, everything is as it should be, and we're pointing sort of northeast. So let's get in the air and um, get going. <coughs> um, it's real weather today. Don't know how real it is um, in the sim because I don't know whether the um, weather, the live weather thing, reaches this far, but we'll see. Lift off. We'll have a little fly over the um, airport terminal area for you so you can have a little look. It's a very quaint, nice little scenery, this here. Very nicely done. So we head north, we actually we can, uh, supposedly we can follow the highway and it should take us right up to the falls. We get a little bit of height. Actually that should do us 500 feet or so. So this, what we're going to look at is a Victoria Falls Bridge modification. It's a mod by Pinepix. You can get it on flightsim.to. You search Victoria Falls. Download is 9.46 megabyte and it installs into the community folder at 17.6 megs. So it's not a huge file. And it's Sim Update 7 compatible. As I said, available on flightsim.to from a gentleman called Pinepix. Let's have a look at some history. So Victoria Falls is a waterfall on the Zambezi River in southern Africa. It's located on the border 
between Zambia and Zimbabwe into one of the world's largest water pools with a width of 5,604 feet or 1,708 metres. David Livingston, the Scottish missionary and explorer, was the first European to view the pools in November 1855 from what is now known as Livingston Island, one of the two land masses in the middle of the river, immediately upstream from the falls near the Zambian shore. Livingston named the falls in honour of Queen Victoria, but the Sohoto language, Mosai on Atunya, which translates as the smoke that thunders, continues in common usage. The falls are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and officially both names are recognised. The site is also known as Siongo or Chongwe, which means the place of the rainbow, as a result of the constant spray which comes over the falls. Whilst the falls are neither the highest nor the widest waterfall in the world, they are classified as the largest based on its combined width of 5,604 feet or 1,708 metres and the height, 354 feet, 108 metres, resulting in the world's largest sheet of falling water. The Victoria Falls are roughly twice the height of North America's Niagara Falls and well over twice its width. Spray from the falls typically rises to a height of 1,300 feet, 400 metres, and sometimes much higher, and the spray can often be seen from 30 miles or 50 kilometres away. There are two islands on top of the falls, large enough to divide the curtain of water, Upstream from the falls, the Zambezi River flows. At its highest point in the March-April time season, it is estimated that 109 million gallons, or 500 million litres, of water per minute flow over the falls. During the dry season, it can be as low as 2.1 million gallons, or 10 million litres. In 1958, in the flood that year, Zambezi saw the falls reach a record volumes of over 170 million gallons or 770 million litres per minute. Victoria Falls Bridge crosses the Zambezi River just below the falls and is built over the second gorge. As the river forms a border between Zimbabwe and Zambia, the bridge links the two countries and they both have border posts on both approaches of the bridge at the towns of Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe and Livingston in Zambia. So we're getting close to them now, so we'll come across to the gorge here. As you can see, the road there, highway, continues right up towards the falls. <coughs> what we will do is we'll come into where the gorge is here and we'll follow the gorge up so you can have a look at the terrain in the local area which um, when I first looked at this was pretty dreadful but actually it seems to be a bit better presumably as the simulation itself has improved but obviously you'll see the work that um, this gentleman has done to improve the area is just great in my opinion very very nice this is typical Zimbabwean scrub as we approach the gorge to try and get down a little bit. But uh, this is a beautiful area. I'm really hoping actually that this uh, gentleman will do a little bit more work on this area, maybe sort out the gorge, make it a little bit better visually and um, add the spray effect. So there are, as I said, there are gorges leading up to the falls, they're known as the first, second, third and fourth gorge. And they continue to go down, as you can see, it twists and turns around. But, um, beautiful landscape. And normally at this distance we'd see the spray rising high into the air. Um, <coughs> it's now obviously now February, we're going into going into March, which is when the um, 
the falls are at their highest, the water levels at its highest. Um, but obviously that effect hasn't been put in yet. But we'll see what our friend can do. On the left there you can see the town of Victoria Falls which is still on the Zimbabwe side of the river and then further north is the town of Livingston in the Zambian side. And visitors will need a visa um, which they can purchase on the day at the bridge border post. So we're coming up to the falls and if those of you looked at my previous video you'll see how dreadful the falls really looked. It really was a mess this whole particular area. So there's the bridge that connects the two countries and just goes across below the falls. It's right here which was the main reason, I believe, for him creating this scenery. But as you can see, if you, for those of you who looked at the other video, you can see he's really cleaned up the area. OK, the falls don't look absolutely stunning, but they're there now, whereas they actually weren't before. So, I mean, I've got to commend the guy for a, a really nice attempt to sort this out. There we are, looking back over the falls, there's the bridge normally you'd see piles of um, spray coming up there as well. Like much of Africa, it's a beautiful area. Very, very nice. And to be honest, I am so pleased this gentleman has done this job. I've um, sent him a message, hopefully he might do a little bit more, we'll see. As you can see, lots of little islands that are typical here. It's a, a really beautiful location and um, if somebody, if this gentleman or somebody could really work on these falls to make them look more realistic and have the spray effects it would be stunning. As I said this is a World Heritage, UNESCO World Heritage site. I originally thought it was one of the seven wonders of the world. Probably should be but actually it isn't. But that looks so much better, so much better than it used to. So let's have a swing back and have a look at the town of Livingston on the Zimbabwe side. I'm um, sorry, on the Zambian side I and mean, as you can see this um, this place really goes on there's so much around here it's a huge area So this is all photogrammetry of course. As you can see the Zambezi River there flows up north, continues north into Zambia. Visually this <laughs> looks quite nice, looks fine. It's 
do a quick fuel check. I'm lying a bit low on fuel, so we'll head back in a minute. It's uh, a lovely area that's been uh, obviously much, much better developed now. Thanks to a little modification. Um, I mean, it's not big at all, it's under 10 meg. Um, just brilliant. So one more pass over the bridge and then we'll head back to the Falls Airport. Assuming we've got enough fuel, I think we'll be okay. But I just thought I'd do a quick video, have a look at this mod and also bring you out to this area. And this time in the helicopter. In the um, first video I took the Cessna out here. But as you can see, um, much much better improvement, huge improvement. all because of this little modification. I'm so pleased with it. I get down a bit lower. Normally wouldn't do this because you'd be battered by the spray and you'd not be able to see very much. So this is a highway that goes across the bridge that links the uh, country of Zambia with the country of Zimbabwe. Very nice piece of work, I, I think. There you can see the extent of the road that goes across. Various power lines and bits and pieces. Very nice indeed. But as you can see, the terrain around here is pretty good, it's pretty stunning. There you can see the water wash in the river there below. Um, and as I said, if you look at the earlier video, you can see just how bad it was before this was done. It looks so much better now than it did. I mean, that looks really nice. Looks just so much better than it used to. So I'm just going to pick up the highway there. So there's the highway below us. Uh, should take us right past the airport. In fact, yeah, I can see the airport right in the distance there. So, any of you are interested, if you're interested in looking at this area a little bit more, I've done a series of eight videos looking at Botswana and Africa. Um, and uh, basically with the Okavango Delta scenery installed, which has really transformed Botswana. If any of you have seen the um, TV series on the Dave channel some years ago, Bush Pilots. Um, these guys take small bush planes, Cessnas and so on, out to the bush, out into the Botswana, out into the Okavango Delta, to the luxury camps. They take tourists out to stay at the luxury camps, often thousand dollars or more a night so that they can be up close and personal with the wildlife 
and the Okavango Delta scenery has included many of the camps and really updated the area to add animals of various kinds both static and moving and um, I've done a series of videos visiting various airstrips in the Delta uh, which you might be interested in so check out my channel for those if you think you might be interested in that look at the fuel yeah we should have enough got the airport in sight This is typical bush as well, those of you who have seen those videos or who have got the Okavango Delta scenery will know this is typical of the bush. As I say, this is Victoria Falls Airport, um, scenery by the MSFS Scenery Builders. You can get it on Sim Market, I think it's very expensive. But again, it um, updates the airport, makes it look a little bit more impressive than it usually is. Another massive long runway here, runway 1230. Obviously we're at a high elevation, something like 3,500 feet above sea level. So takeoff runs are longer, so you need the extra runway. They've got the nice little Dakota in the scenery there. decent landing got the ornithopter there, that wasn't there last time I checked. However, try and come down on the other side of him. As you can see, very nice little scenery there, got some people in front of the terminal, very nice indeed. And well, that wasn't a bad landing, was it?
there you go folks, a quick video taking the helicopter out of Victoria Falls Airport in um, Zambia and heading north up to the falls. This modification by Pine Picks can be found on flightsim.to. It's Victoria Falls Bridge, um, 9.4 meg download, installs at 17.6 meg, sim update 7 compatible and um, he's really done a little job that's transformed the falls into what was an ugly default representation into something a lot better. Um, big shout out to him and here's hoping he might work on it a little bit more and add the things that he wants to do. I've left him a message and we'll see how that goes. Hope you enjoyed this little jaunt guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. This is Lee, virtual airline pilot, or in this case, virtual helicopter pilot, saying thanks for joining me and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.